So today I want us to look in the book of Romans chapter 2 from verse 5. Romans chapter 2 verse 5 to verse 11. We are looking at uh, God righteousness versus human righteousness and uh, part two and subtitle you can say it's choices have consequences choices have consequences if you choose to follow god righteousness there are consequences if you follow human righteousness there are also there are consequences so i will read Romans chapter 2 verse 5 the word of god says but in accordance with your hardness and your impenitent pit heart, you are treasuring up for yourself love in the day of love and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who will lead down to each one according to his deed. Eternal life to those who, by patience, Continuance in doing good seek for glory, honor, and immortality. But those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation and love, tribulation and anguish on every soul of man who does evil, of the Jews first, also of the Greek, but glory honor and peace to everyone who works what is good to the Jew first and also the Greeks for there is no partiality with God. Praise the Lord. Amen. So if I if we look up about God righteousness, God righteousness is revealed in the gospel. Roman one seventeen says for in it, the, ghost, the righteousness of God is revealed, the gospel of water and spirit. The gospel of God righteousness, in it, the righteousness of God is revealed. And if we remember that we looked, that when Adam and Eve committed sin, when they disobeyed the word of God, and they, they found out that they were naked, and they were ashamed to be, go before God, they, they did see uh, a cloth of fig leaves and these fig leaves if you put a, a cloth of fig leaves it is not long lasting it cannot even take a day it, if it is very hot in the sun you need to replace it and that's what human righteousness is all about and also the bible says that human righteousness our righteousness is like fill the lives in isaiah 64 verse verse 4 Verse 6. All our lasciousness is like filthy lags. So when Adam and Eve committed sin, they tried to put to cover up their shame with fig leaves, with their own deeds. And that's human lasciousness. And when God came, he sacrificed an animal. And he, he made a cloth of skin and put them a, a tunic of skin. We should represent God lasciousness, which is everlasting, which is long lasting compared to the cloth of leaves and the cloth of skin. Skin is more durable, long lasting. And so we have been given a choice. We have been given a choice. It is not a mandatory, it is your choice. Whether to believe in God lasciousness or to believe on your own works. Have we have led the word of God today that but in in accordance to with your hardness your impatient heart you are treasuring up for yourself the love in the day of love and revelation of the righteous judgment why is it that people are storing for themselves the love of God it's only because they have not received God's love 
if we don't receive God's love, which is revealed in His lusciousness, we only we are only storing for ourselves love. We we are only storing for our rest a uh, righteous judgment of God and love during the life of day. Because those who have not received the love of God, they are just waiting for judgment. But those who have received the love of God, those who have believed in the righteousness of God, there is no condemnation to them. Because they are in Christ Jesus. And Christ has been condemned on their behalf. Praise the Lord. Christ, when he came to this world, he came that he may fulfill the righteousness of God. If you look at the book of Matthew chapter 3, the book of Matthew chapter 3, verse 13 to 15, we can see that Jesus went to Jordan to be baptized by John the Baptist. And John tried to deter him. John tried to prevent him from being baptized because John recognized this as Jesus Christ. But Jesus told him, permit it to be so now. For thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. So Jesus Christ fulfilled all righteousness by taking all the sins of the world, by being baptized by John the Baptist, a representative of all human kind. He represented all of us. And that's why jo Jesus also witnessed about John the Baptist that he has represented us by saying in uh, Matthew 11, 11, from, uh, all, from all those born of women, they have not lazy one greater than John the Baptist. Why is John the Baptist greater even than Moses, even than David, even than Elijah, even than Isaiah? It is because he represented me and you and everyone in this world to pass all our sins unto Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, so that all our sins can be washed. And therefore, Jesus fulfilled all lessness. And this lessness that Jesus fulfilled is what we need to take and put on by faith. We need to believe that Jesus, we need to pass all our sins to Jesus when he was baptized. Because that is the pattern that God had set of atonement of sin. God showed his way to Moses. He showed his way to the children of Israel. If you read the book of Psalms 103, I think first, let me read. This God was just showing about his righteousness so that we can believe in his righteousness and abandon our ways. Psalms 103, verse 7, the Bible says, He made his ways known to Moses and his acts to the children of Israel. Praise the Lord. And this is about his righteousness. He was showing them his righteousness so that they can put on God's righteousness so that they can receive the blessing from God. Not trying to wash themselves with their own deeds. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because God is the creator and prepared the salvation before the foundation of the world, as we also have heard in the book of Hebrew. There's a, the first, uh, we have Hebrew 4, 4, 3. We have learned that for we who, are, who, who have believed do enter the rest. As he said, I saw in my life they shall not enter my rest. Although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So God saw that there are those who not enter his rest. Even the Israelites. Those who complained about God, those who complained about Moses, they were not able to enter Canaan. They all perished in the wilderness. They all died in the wilderness because they did not believe in God. They did not believe in the righteousness of God. They did not believe in the word of God. Praise the Lord. So they were not able to enter into the land of Canaan. They were not able to enter the rest. And now there is the rest, the spiritual rest that God wants each and every one to enter. And if you don't enter this list, you are just storing yourself love of God. You are just waiting to end up in hell. Because the word of God is very clear that in Romans 6, in Romans 6, that 6, 23, 
the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. So God has given us a gift of eternal life. But if we don't receive this gift, we are just storing ourselves love, for, love of God for the day of judgment. Just to be thrown into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. And that fire will not be quenched. So it's, it's our decision to make that we need to believe in the pattern that God has made, the cloth that God has made for us, so that we can be blessed. And that's why also, if we turn the book of Roman 4, 7, this blessedness is talked about. Roman 4, 7, the Bible says, so these are choices of choosing god -lessiousness. If you choose god -lessiousness, which is revealed in the gospel, the gospel of Jesus' baptism, who came by water, blood, and the Holy Spirit, the, God, the, the Bible has witnessed about this. First John 4, chapter 5, 5 to, to 8, it witnessed about god -lessiousness. It is a witness of he who overcome the world. And David is witnessing that blessed are those whose less, lowless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Their sins have been covered by God's graciousness. If your sin is covered, it is covered in God's graciousness. You can never cover your sin with your own gracious deed because your own graciousness is like fill the lack. You need to cover it by faith in the graciousness of God. It is by grace that we have been saved. It is not because of our works, but by grace. It is that God loved us. And this love is when we receive this love, we escape from the love of God. But if we don't receive the love, that's why I said that choices have consequences. If you don't receive the love, there are this, the consequences of ending in the lake of fire and perishing eternally. So blessed is the man whom the Lord shall not impute sin. The Lord does not impute sin to those who believe in the lessness of God. The lessness fulfilled by Jesus Christ, lessness God himself fulfilled for us on our behalf. Because Jesus Christ is God himself. As the word says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was with God. And everything that was created, it was created by him. And the word became flesh. Because he loved us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So, if we believe, we shall have everlasting life. And it is to believe in God's graciousness. It is to put on God's graciousness. It is nothing but to put on God's graciousness. And that is putting on God's love. That is accepting, obeying God's love. Not becoming sons of disobedience. So, when we heard the gospel, we believed. But before we had heard the gospel, we were, we were dead in sin. As it is recorded in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1, we we'll look at the word in the book of Ephesians. The Bible says that, And you he made alive, who were dead in trespasses and sins. Ephesians chapter 2. And you he made alive. How did he make us alive? We who believe. He made us alive by healing the gospel. And we were sealed by the Holy Spirit. We were sealed with the Holy Spirit. As he says in uh, Ephesians 1 that team. In him you trusted. After you heard the word of the truth. The gospel of your salvation. In, in whom also having believed. You were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So when we heard the gospel of God's lessness, we were sealed with the 
Holy Spirit. We receive the Holy Spirit. When you become sinless in your heart, that's when the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit is holy, that's when the Holy Spirit can come into your heart and dwells in you. But the Holy Spirit cannot dwell in a sinful heart. It has to be sinless. And for your heart to be sinless, you have to believe in the perfect gospel. You have to believe in the lessness of God. You have to believe the love that God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes, if we believe, will have eternal life. We will escape from the love of God. But if we harden our heart, if we become stubborn to the word of God, if we become stubborn to the love of God, we shall end up with the love of God and in the lake of fire. Because that is the judgment that God will judge those who have rejected his love. Knowing it or unknowing it. And that's why the word says that people perish for lack of knowledge. Hosea 4, 6. So, we were dead in trespasses before we had this gospel in which you once walked according to the course of the world, according to the prince of power of the power of the air. The spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. Those who have not obeyed, there is a spirit working in them. Those who have not heeded, it is because they have heeded the lie of the devil. And those who want to follow the lie of the devil, God gives them a delusion. God gives the power to follow that power, as it is recorded in Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Second Thessalonians. If we start from verse 7, say, the Bible says, for the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. So the prince of air is still working. The spirit that works in the son of disobedience is still at work. That's why some people are not, a lot of people have not believed in the gospel. But God will always meet with those who are seeking him. And he reward them diligently, as it is recorded in Hebrew 12. So, for the mystery of the lowest one is already at work. Only who, who now is trained will do so until he is taken out of the way. And then, lowest one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. The coming of the lowest one is according to the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. So, Satan does wonders, does signs, does miracles to lie those who disobey the love of the truth. As first sentence says, and with all unlessious deception among those who perish, because they did not receive the love of truth they have not received the love of truth that they might be saved. Praise the Lord. So, we need to receive the love of truth so that we can be saved. And that's the will of God, that all come to the knowledge of truth and be saved. That's the will of God, that all come to the knowledge of truth and be saved. And to, to receive the love of truth which is the gospel of the righteousness of God. So it is very important for us to receive the righteousness of God. It is, and it is the peace for everyone. That's when you, are, you become reconciled. Uh, verse 11, 2 Thessalonians 2, 11, And for this reason, God will set them a strong delusion, that they should believe the lie. Praise the Lord. Those who have not received the love of God, those who have rejected his love, God said them strong derision so that they can follow that lies of the devil. Those miracles of the devil, fake miracles, 
counterfeit signs and wonders which are coming from Satan, which are the working of Satan. But God wants us to receive the healing of the heart. God wants us to heal our heart. God wants us to heal us from inside by his love. And it comes through healing and hearing the word that we can be healed. And we can witness that, yes, we have been saved. We have been born again. We have become a child of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we need to, to follow the righteousness of God. We don't need to be ignorant to God's righteousness. Because we can see there are consequences. Back to back to Roman two five two six. The word is telling us that who God who will lead to each according to his deed. And some people may, may, may misunderstand this because the the deed is by the faith that you take. And that's why other religion by following the deception of Satan, they are preaching the deeds, which is human lasciousness. It's not about human lasciousness. It's not about our good deeds, but the deed of faith by believing in the lasciousness of God. Verse 7 is telling us that eternal life to those who, by patience, continuance in doing good work for glory, honor, and immortality. So those who have received the righteousness of God, they will receive eternal life. If you receive the mission of sin by believing in God's righteousness, you become a child of God and you shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. And that's why those who have believed take the kingdom of of heaven by violence because of, they have a bold faith praise the Lord they are confident in what they believe there is no doubt in the faith that we believe that we shall enter heaven not praise the Lord as it is written in uh, in Matthew 11 12. Matthew 11, 12, the Bible says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffer fire it, and it, take it by force. Praise the Lord. Amen. But without the knowledge of the truth, and that's why Jesus said, When you shall know the truth, the truth will set you free. Without the knowledge of People can misinterpret this word and say that uh, people will try to enter heaven by force with machine guns or weapons. It's nothing like that. But it's just by bold faith. Because this, the word of God is spirit. So it is talking about spiritually. We have spirit. You have, when you believe in the baptism of Jesus, you pass all your sin to Jesus. From the day of John the Baptist, because John the Baptist, that's when he transferred all our sin. From that time, the kingdom of heaven suffer violent, and violent take it by force. Those who have believed, they have gained bold faith. They have bold faith, they have confidence. I'm a child of God. The kingdom of, of, of heaven belongs to us, belongs to me and you, who have believed. Praise the Lord. But the wages of sin is death. Those who still have sin, they will face condemnation. God will ladder them his love in the day of judgment. But those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but, but obey unlessness, indignation and love, tribulation, anguish, every soul of man who does evil, of the Jews first, so everyone who does evil, 
who does not believe in the righteousness of God, it is the person who does evil. And that's why Jesus is saying, he will say to them, away from me, you who practice no no. Lawlessness. Not everyone who calls me Lord shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but those who do the will of God. And to do the will of God is to believe in him he sent. And he who sent is Jesus Christ and came and took our sins and was baptized by John the Baptist and paid for our sin and he atoned for all our sin and said it is finished. So we need to believe in the truth. For in God there is no partiality. Whether you are Jew, whether you are you have to receive the righteousness of God to enter eternal life and be blessed eternally. But if you reject his love, you shall be condemned forever. Praise the Lord.